What's up, our beautiful people of Mungai Eve Media? We have stories at 254 and, of course, clothes uh, talk show. We are right here with one of the top DJs right here in the country, Gospel DJ Ken, the DJ. Karibu uh -huh. sana. Mambo vipi? Mko freshi? Kabisa? Aha, uh -huh. asante ni sana kwa disi. Nakaa vizuri? As asante sana, asante sana. Ni Mungu. Ni kawaida. Ni Mungu. Uh, 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 was dressed you maybe you can tell us? Ah, uh, inimedi dress. Uh -huh. uh, Lilienda Kikomba. Wala. Nikapata suti mzuri nikasema leta hiyo. Uh -huh. Nikapata tie mzuri nikasema leta hiyo. Yes, mimi ndo nimeti dress. Tarudi hapo hivyo sababu niko na swali. But anyway, uh Ken unaweza tuambia maybe yeah. uh, of course you run on the invited guest right here. Unaweza tuambia right. maybe a little bit on although unajua show haijaanza but tell us a little bit about the award. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh Kibali Awards nime invite you. Uh -huh. It's a new uh, you know awards uh uh let's say my system ama kitu kama hiyo. And uh, it's a fresh breath because kulikuwa na awards earlier on but ilienda ikapotea so sasa hii imerudi and one thing about awards ni hiyo patia mtu motivation once umeshinda award inapatia mtu motivation ya kuendelea and so when i see this happening i'm really happy that kuna wasanii watakuwa nominated kuna madj watakuwa nominated kuna mashows zitakuwa nominated and one thing with award inafanyanga mse apate bd apate hiyo nini uh, you know the energy ya kuendelea kitu anafanya so i'm really happy about these awards uh, watu wapya watakuwa kupale kwa nominations and so najua watakuwa itakuwa kitu maana sana yeah and maybe can uh, tungependa kujua is it a purely gospel award thing yes it is it is it is a, it, I, i believe it is a gospel awards uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. everything even the nominations kwa pale uh -huh. ni fully gospel mm -hmm. Yes. No, of course talking of gospel Kitambo, uh, we used to have it so much. We had the Groove Awards, yeah. Bitu Kama Hizo. Yeah. Are you guys uh, or do you rather think it's like a comeback to revive or yes. rather to at least bring the gospel industry back to where it was then? Exactly, exactly. As I, as as I stated up on Bele, yeah. uh kulikuwa na Groove Awards, uh Beleni, kulikuwa na ingine inaitopia Mwafaka Mwafaka Awards, uh, but ilienda ikapotea. But then uh, now Kibali may come. So as I've, as I've said, Kibali it a come it bring a fresh breath because hiyo time ya Groove Awards there are some of the artists when walikuwa kwa walikuwa kwa ministry saa wako. And so sasa kuna fresh breath ya wasani, DJs, shows. And so for them wakipatwa wakipatwa mtu akishinda award it will motivate kuendelea kitu na do. Mimi nishaishinda award na najua kile nilifanyia. So for 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 someone else akishinda for this Kibali award na jo itamskuma kwa mtu wa maana sana. Yes. Alafu kitambo mm. we used to see that gospel used to be played a lot kwa airways. Okay. Wewe kama DJ why yeah. do you think squeezy haiko as much as kitambo? Uh what I think ni you know me na believe na believe uh, in a you know kila kitu kuna seasons eh. Uh, season hata kwa ministry kuna season kuna season watu watafurahia kuna season ya, ya, ya kulia kuna season tu vitu zimesimama and so i believe that in the hata uh, hata kwetu kuna time god alikuwa anataka ku make a statement mahali and ilikuwa wave unaweza kumbuka kila mahali gospel ilikuwa inachezwa kwa ma clubs nini i'm not saying that that bado sasa hii hiyo kitu god agenda anataka haita i happen ina happen but i believe that uh, bado gospel imeanza kuamka watu wanaipata and so uh, in, a, in a to the head ukiona okay, vitu kama hizi kibali zinarudi uh, muziki zinarudi wasanii wapi wanakuja wana, 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 wana watu wanao appreciate it's something that naweza sema tunaenda place poa uh -huh. yeah alafu uko na mpoa ah uh, sina mpoa una mpoa uko soko una una plan nini maybe ah uh, kidogo tu tukitoka hapo hivyo and uh, maybe we get a return into the gospel industry yeah. of course your story is out here of how you found yourself in the djing yeah. and the uh, gospel industry but right. ningependa kujua with the whole debate about the gospel industry what mm. are some of the challenges umepitia as a dj okay. cuz i know sometimes uh mnakwanga mnarushi wa mawe yeah. kwamba maybe nyinyi ndo umefanya gospel karudi chini and things yeah. like that yeah. what are some of the challenges main challenges umepitia kama dj Uh, I mean uh, ukikuwa na na big platform uh, kuna challenges uh, you know uh, unapata I'll be very honest eh, ukikuwa pale juu uh, kuna fame na kam doing na kam mademo na kam and so if you're not very careful hizo vitu zinaweza ingia zinaweza ingia into your head 
uanze kuona we ni we ni msembigi hakuna msana za kakushoeni uh, nikitaka interviews kaa nyinyi mnaniambia manze mnafa kubuka appointment manze yeah. mimi sitapangi interview vitu kaya hizo and so I, 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 i mean hizo challenges unasema wasona warusha mawe but you know you keep focused na ile kitu god amekuita udu uh, femi na kam unajua ukifika pale hauwezi jua kama imeingia yeah. utapata tu manze unaanza ku receive your places then usipo receive your place vile kama celeb na feel kama ah so waja ku, waja ku recognize vizuri but kitu kitu tu yenye imenisaidia ni ni kuweka god mbele na kukuwa na mentors wenyewe wamekuwa kwa hii game before mimi nilikuwa mentor na DJ Croba amenisaidia sana kwa hii safari and so those are some of the challenges in zina come fame madam do watu kwa uh, you know hizo uh, malawama watu wasipo make it but then it's not about you uh, it's not you that you are making that thing happen eh uh, hizo tu uh, speculations about what people are thinking uko nje but uh, for me naweza sema god amenishikilia sana yeah alafu ni qualifications gani yeah. zenye ngoma inafaa kuwa nayo ndio wewe icheze right for me it's very simple uh, quality of music uh, audio video lazima zikuwe juu and sisi sisa kama ni gospel lazima tusikie message unaimba nini message yako ni scriptural ama tu umeimba because uh, unataka kuimba gospel because kuna watu huimba out of scripture so for me ni, ni quality ya mziki kwa fiti both audio na video uh, msanii imbe fiti unajua pia wasanii wachapitizi eh, wasanii tu because gospel unapata mtu anasema neme inatosha so mtu anaingia tu studio because ana feel nika god amemwambia <laughs> amemwambia wewe unaweza imba so anaingia tu studio anaanza kuimba so ajali about the craft so come sani anaimba fiti production iko fiti message iko poa tick maybe on that on the quality of uh, audio and uh, messaging in yeah. uh, any song yeah. maybe you can make a statement on uh, kuna wimbo ambao ulitolewa i think a month ago okay na msani anasema yeye ni wa gospel okay. anaitwa embarambamba okay anasema anataka kupanuliwa anataka kunyonywa dhambi uh-huh. pia kupanuliwa uh, vitu kama hizo do you feel like they are bringing down the gospel industry okay so so kama sasa nimekwambia message is very important so mimi nikiget song kama hiyo nitasikia umsa anaimba nini so first of all uh, message kama hiyo kunyonywa sijui kunini when sasa the first impression hata the first thing umesikia na hiyo ngoma already sha ku throw off So for me says it is ngoma kayo eh, because kama we mwenyewe ushaifeel hivyo na 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 you know na umefeel kitu mbaya siwezi kukuchezea and so i mean what to talk with serious eh hizi eh, vitu za kiki za kusukuma mziki i mean gospel i i uh, they're not necessary eh wewe imba tu imbo poa imba message fit message itasukuma watu wanaimba kuna kuna boy fulani mpya amekaa anaitwa Samiji yeah. I, don't, i don't know if kama mnamjua eh boy anaimba fit manze na watu wamemkubali ajatumia kiki ajatumia anything so watu tu manze watu waimbe the real gospel uh-huh. eh lakini niko na swali kidogo yeah. juu umesema you are single bado una mpoa yeah. maybe kuna for the sake of madam wenye wako pale nje makrashi ni nini yeah. wangependa kujua some of the qualities <laughs> yenye uko nazo yenye una you will prefer maybe kuangalie kwa dem ama kwa kwa mpoa wako some of the qualities eh <laughs> mnani <laughs> on the spot manze ambia madam pale una Eh uh, madam msijali ka ka wewe ni type yangu ndaingia DM type yako ni gani Leo ni tuambi Ah ah what 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 need a secret hiyo Eh wewe ukini jazz tu ndaingia DM Ukiingia DM ndaingia ni kwambie mwanzeni aje Ah mimi by the sina sina nini big god akiniambia ni wewe ama ni wewe leo ni hivyo tunaishia Eh Eh, mi mi kwangu ni hivyo i don't i don't really look at you know vitu mob sana so so god akiniambia ni wewe ama ni wewe leo ah mimi na kama naingia dm na na ku tuna tunabonga na inaingia vote eh uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. uh, unajua sometimes lazima god aizi kuja kukwambia ni huyu how will you know it's god's time kwa sababu wengine maybe umekutana na yeye haujai jua eh so how will you know it's god's time Well, yeye ni swali poa sana. So for, 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 for us, mimi kama Ken eh, I really mimi na mimi na mimi naomba sana. Naomba sana sana sana. And nazaomba I believe mimi answers nime, nimejibiwa na Mungu. Nazajua eh kama kitu inaenda kuhappen ama yeye ende kuhappen. So leo nikianza kupreni vile sijaanza kuombea. 
Eh, cause kuna vitu bado nambia God align. You understand? Before we mpoa kama. You understand? So nikiomba na niona tu dem flani na vibe ianze kuingia. Ndio hiyo tumeingiana. Uh -huh. Eh. Right, so, Sio. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so on social media is at Ken the DJ. Uh -huh. Facebook, Instagram, uh, X, TikTok, kila mahali. Uh -huh. YouTube Ken the DJ and also Citizen TV every Sunday kutoka uh, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. na kuanga pale asubuhi with my sister Joyce Omondi and also Ramogi TV eh uh, huko Kisom City uh -huh. uh, na kuanga pale show inaitwa Injili Kalo from 10 to 1 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, right, thank you so much. Asante ni sana for your time. Uh, na kazi poa mnafanya pia nyinyi na watambua sana. Thank God bless. You.